You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. A Topeka native turned Broadway performer is bringing his family back to town for a new Christmas tradition. Jeff Crady's equally talented wife, Nikki Renee Daniels, is here with a preview. I would say better half, but we don't want to make Jeff upset. Well, you know. And the kids aren't here, <laughs> and we all know that they have the, the stealing the show element of the family going That's on. Right. So That's this right. is so fun, Nikki. For those who are familiar with your background, you are definitely the equally talented half of this couple because well, you have a, quite you. the resume. What have you all been doing? <laughs> Uh, well, Jeff and I met uh, doing a Broadway show together, doing Les Mis on Broadway together. And a Broadway love story. That's right, <laughs> a showmance that worked out and combined we've done 17 Broadway shows. So, wow. Yeah. So what else have you been in besides Les Mis? Where you been? Um, shows that people would know of, probably The Book of Mormon, Hamilton. I was just in company. Hamilton? I, I don't know. Is that, has anyone <laughs> heard of Hamilton? Just a little, a little show. <laughs> a little show. Um, Jeff and I were both in the revival of Company last year that won the Tony Award for Best Revival. So done quite a few old shows. I'm still disappointed that you all don't get to have one of the statues from being I in the know. show, but whatever. We deserve it, I think. <laughs> but you should get a Tony Award for what's going to be happening at the Topeka Performing Arts Center in December. How did you all come up with this concept that started last year? Well, you know, the Topeka arts community is such a rich environment and it fosters so many wonderful young artists. It's why Jeff was able to graduate from Washburn and move to New York and have a successful career on Broadway because of all of the people that nurtured his talent here. So we wanted to put together a show that featured all of those uh, wonderful people like the Shawnee Choral Society and this year we have the Kansas Youth Chorale performing with us mm. and students from high schools all over uh, Topeka, Kansas area performing with us. So. We really wanted to sort of give back to the community that's given so much to Jeff. Maria Cuevas is going to be part of the show. Yes. Your girls are going to be back as part of the they show. They are, yes. What is, what is it like <laughs> for them, and, and I know you're not them, but how old are they now, and what is it like for them growing up in a Broadway family? I mean, do, do you yeah. push them toward the arts? Have you kind of let them lead the way? How do you handle that? Um, I mean, a little bit of both. You know, yeah. they can't help but be around it all. They're 6 and 10, they're oh, first gosh. and fifth grade, and they actually do go to an elementary school for musically gifted children in New York called the Special Music School. So uh, Louise has been playing the flute for the past mm. year and Lena's been playing violin for now six years. And so, you know, they come by the musical talent pretty honestly. I would say so. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, they're not impressed by us at all. <laughs> Which is pretty, pretty good to go home and just kind of, you know, you get, you get down a notch yeah, or it's two. Yeah, you... it's humbling, for sure. <laughs> what do you love about the Christmas season that makes you as a family want to share this with everyone? Well, you know, it's a time to be with family and a time to celebrate the love that you have for everyone. I mean, over the pandemic break, you know, we weren't performing, so we really got to spend a lot more time with our families and get to uh, spend those holidays that we wouldn't normally get to spend with family because we're performing in mm -hmm. New York. We got to spend more time and so it really highlighted just how special all of that time is and how we shouldn't take it for granted. So You have a lot of special guests in the show this year, but there is going to be a big debut in the show. Yes. And there's going to be a little bit going on in Topeka tomorrow if you see you all on the streets. What's yes. going to be debuted during this Christmas show? Well, um, Stephen Lutback, who's a Broadway composer, Tony nominated Tony nominated Broadway composer of The Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, which is a show that Jeff mm -hmm. did. He wrote a song for uh, this commercial for Visit Topeka called Topeka. And so it'll be premiering um, at our concert and we're shooting the commercial now. Exciting. Yes. What is your favorite Christmas song that you said, we need to have this in the show? Um, my personal favorite is Oh Holy Night. I think oh, a lot of people it. love it. Yes. And this year we're doing a special version, a trio version with mm. one of our daughters. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. So exciting. Yeah. Oh, the magic of Christmas. Gotta <laughs> love it. Gotta love it. How is it different for you, like actually being so integrally involved in putting together this show versus just simply showing up, someone gives you a script or a score and you just perform it and that's it? Right. Well, I mean, there's so much of our hearts that are involved in it. You know, we really want to put on a special show for this community that, like I said, has given so much to Jeff and his family. And so we've really tried to find material that will highlight the talents of this community and our family. Well, you can be an honorary to pick in any time you want. Absolutely. <laughs> the show is when, and are tickets on sale now? Yes, they are. It's December 23rd. And two shows this year. Yes, two shows, one at 1.30 and one at 7.
and two shows because it was just so much fun. You're, yeah. you're doubling up on the fun we this year. We sold really well, even though it was the coldest day in 30 <laughs> years in Kansas. We sold really well, so we're trying to double the fun this oh. year. TopekaPerformingArtsCenter.com <laughs> is where you can get those tickets, and those tickets are on sale now. Nikki, thank you so much. Appreciate you taking time to thank come you. in. and Yeah, bundle up tomorrow when you all are, are doing the shoot for the video. <laughs> we will. <laughs> there is definitely a fall chill in the air. You'll hear why those gardeners may want to be on alert next in the first alert forecast.